Okay, so everyone kept asking about Kumara. And uh, this is how I do it anyway. Lots of other people probably do it different ways, but this is how I do it. Today's the 9th of June, 2020, New Zealand. So we're about four or five days, I think, maybe even a week into winter. But I've had these on my windowsill for months, and I've already had a whole lot of shoots, but I didn't manage to get them planted in time this season to get any kuma from them. This one here is orange kuma. These two are both red. Red ones grow a lot faster. Um, orange ones don't. They take probably twice as long to grow, but easy enough done. So I've had these on the windowsill for months, and they just keep going. They keep sprouting. You, you probably don't need to go too hard out unless you want a massive crop. So I just had a wee glass. Yeah, little shot glasses because depends how big your shoots are really. You don't want them falling over out of the container. Some of these would probably be a bit big for this, so I'll just use a bigger glass. But it's so easy. All you do is keep it full of water and the half camera because I've cut them in half and put them in these beer sevens. And you just keep topping them up with water. You can rinse the... I pull the, the cameras out, carefully um, replace the water if you don't like the look of it. But they don't seem to care so long as they've got some sort of moisture in there. So you just pull the shoots off and put them in the glass. It's super easy. Um, if they're too small, just leave them on and, and uh, it'll be fine. Some of them grow roots well they're still attached which is always a bonus so you could just pull that whole thing off with the roots attached and put it in the dirt otherwise you put them in the glass I like to try and keep them separate but um, sometimes that doesn't always happen that one was probably a bit short for the glass so I'll put that in a smaller one Wow, phone doesn't seem to want to focus today. Um, if it's pretty easy to tell the difference anyway, even if you do put them in the same glass. If you don't want Comer themselves, my friend actually, she has one pl just planted a whole Comer, and she leaves that in some dirt, and it kind of just grows like a chain of hearts, basically just keeps growing and growing but you can also um, if you do decide to do it that way and you didn't want to sprout them like this you can just snip pieces of the plant of the whole cream or plant and uh, put those in water and they will grow roots as well so these ones I've left in here way too long they should have been planted with all the rest but it didn't happen that way. And now uh, they're lacking a bit of water. Neglect, man, neglect. That's how it rolls. So they just grow the roots. This one clearly didn't stay in properly. But uh, you just plant it in the ground like that and you'll grow kuma plants or kuma roots. Or, yeah, so they make a really good house plant or food okay so that was pretty easy i guess i'll finish doing what i was doing and uh, have a good day team good luck with your camera